And in Hawaii tonight, officials are keeping tabs on the fast-moving lava at the Big Island with a fleet of drones. Scott McLean shows us their crucial role in keeping people safe. If there's lava on the move, so is drone pilot Rose Hart. You guys ready? Okay, clear props. Take off. Launching. Her small crew from the University of Hawaii at Hilo has been up all night, every night, since Kilauea first started erupting almost a month ago. They're documenting the lava's movement using drones, not for long-term research, but to inform hour-to-hour -hour decisions. So you guys are an essential service. I feel like we are. As the lava moves, the group's routine stays largely the same. Fly. We're just about at 100 meters altitude. Got 97% battery. Take photos. Upload the data. So this is an Esri base map. Analyze it. It doesn't appear to have widened here. And repeat. Yeah, pop. This week, they watched as a massive, fast-moving lava flow cut off Highway 132, creeping down it for two miles, leaving a pile of shifting lava some 10 feet high. It'll be seemingly cool at the surface, but there's actually still a lot of heat in there. Some of that lava is headed toward another highway, the only remaining escape route for some communities. Officials have now given some neighborhoods an ultimatum, leave or be prosecuted. This is an, an order that is a formal order that does mandate that they leave. Fed by a massive fissure shooting 200 feet into the air, the drone team calculates how quickly the lava is flowing. At times, it's been up to 600 yards per hour, a snail's pace for a person, but lightning fast for lava. You can clearly see that there is movement. Movement that virtually nothing can stop, not homes, cars, or even entire forests. Trees don't do much to slow lava. No, not if the volume's there, there's not much that will.